Hi Taurus, this is your weekly day by day tarot readings for the week starting 2nd of March 2020. I will draw 7 cards for you. Great bar with another 7 from another deck. So we're going to have 2 cards per day. Okay, let's start Monday. Monday. Tuesday. Wednesday. Thursday. Friday. Saturday and Sunday. Okay. Now I'm going to immediately pull the clarifiers so we can start with the readings. Your influencing energy, lovely, lovely. Um, the full card. Enthusiasm new ideas new opportunities something that you haven't done before and you're very optimistic about you would love to do that your new idea that you're so optimistic about i see very solid solid energies in here so there is not empty um, airy uh, ideas no there's something solid in here very very solid let me just pull this clip for us and then we're going to talk about all right we do have 10 of wands 10 of wands do you see this card properly yes you can see that okay 10 of wands monday paired with ace of cups nice lovely you see now the chariot on Tuesday is paired with another seven, seven of pentacles. Now the emperor on Wednesday is paired with five of swords. Now queen of cups on Thursday is paired with eight of pentacles. Good. Now knight of wands on Friday on Friday is paired with Knight of Swords. What did I say? Yeah, Knight of Swords is paired with Eight of Swords. Good. Now Temperance on Saturday is paired with Page of Swords. And then Nine of Cups on a Sunday is paired with the Strength card. Okay, influencing, influencing. Oh, you wouldn't believe it. The fool. Yep. Very nice. Very nice. I like when energies confirms, confirm each other. So the fool is influencing energy of this week. Which tells me you already have this idea. And it's not that you didn't work that out. You are very optimistic about it. It is first stage where nothing nothing happened yet nothing before this week but this idea becomes so solid in your mind no matter how you're gonna get there what you're gonna do how you're gonna do where you're gonna get resources how situation gonna unfold doesn't matter there's your certainty and double the fool that's your certainty about you are to go there that's going to be good for you feeling optimistic feeling that's good for me just like that it seems you're going to be very very right monday monday ace of cups you feel this potential this is feel good from from the fool we moving into ace so this was kind of a waiting period for you something that was brewing you know uh, uh, 
that you have to move forward into something really much bigger, something that you're enthusiastic or you are doing it first time, or it's some unusual unusual type of work or, or something like that. The full card of it tells you something is unusual, or it's sudden, or it's different, or you know, things like that. Ace of Cups. From full to ace, it tells you you feel it, it's good. You're loving it. You are loving it. Though I see your burden in here. Perhaps you have to drop this burden there. Because it's a stag stagnant energy that I see on a couple of places. But nothing can uh, overpower nothing can overpower this uh, full energy, this optimism that you have, this ace of cups in here. Nothing. Anyway, as I said, something is still there to be done, something that you have to complete. And completion is coming. You understand that you have to complete something. Maybe you've been uh, doing something already. Was it also related to something new that you start? I don't think so. With full card usually tells you it is something else that you haven't done before. So you are completing this situation. That's what you are busy with. You are completing. And it's not that you're doing it with pleasure. You're doing it for the sake of obligation, for the sake of accomplishing something that you have started. Just that. So whatever situation is, or jobs that you're doing, or anything that is, you know, your, your chores, you're doing it. You feel very optimistic. You feel potential there. And you're loving it. You feel good about it. You just need to drop this load. And you will be. It seems to me you are very happy because you know you're dropping this load. Yeah, I just had like electricity uh, went off. I'm not sure how do we see this card. Um, okay, I'm going to carry on uh, with this reading. Um... I just hope that you... Okay, I'll check later on the camera. For now, I'm just carrying on. All right. As I said, it seems to me you understand that you have to finish it and you will finish it. You're under... You feels good. I think we already understand these energies on Monday. Now, Tuesday, with the chariot card, two sevens. Chariot... I love chariot card. It's ultimate winner. You know this one. With the seven... I don't know what is going on in, the, in this place. Anyway, I won't get, I won't let them interrupt me much. Anyway, um, the chariot, let me tell you about chariot. I love this energy. It is this, you know, when you know exactly what you want to do, you've got uh, uh, something in front of you, you've got your goal. Um, this chariot does have that finishing line because this one is competing. It's competitive and you do have this energy, oh, I'm going to show to everybody this with the, with the full energy all the time. I feel this full energy. This is so optimistic and I'm feeling it. I'm telling you, the chariot card is a confirmation of that energy, you know, in a way that you understand now where you're going with it. You, on Tuesday, you do have this understanding. You will go there and you know where you're going with it because you do have another seven in here. It is kind of a, it, it is static it, it, um, um, energy. As they say, the chariot is a movement, fast movement. But at this point, you are waiting for that movement to happen. You feel competitive and you feel that you can reach that destination you can do that what you want to do you want to get into the situation you want to be you will you you understand you feel inevitability there that you will be at the in the position you want to be you want to achieve what you want to achieve your results will, 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 will come you waiting to arrive to that place somehow Somehow, energies are going fast in here. From this full energy in here, completion, immediately on Tuesday, this chariot um, energy. And Wednesday, it's emperors coming. Do you perhaps have to deal with some person of, author or person of authority, um, uh, some government institution? Um, maybe you're starting something new and now you, you're coming on Wednesday into back to reality, <laughs> you know, from here you are now 
back to reality. Now, you arrived at a position where the documentation is needed, approval from governments, institution, uh, dealing with uh, somebody of authority who have to approve or something, you have to, your father figure um, or, or father, somebody of who's got authority over you. Uh, the emperor could be Aries, Sagittarius or Leo person as well that you're dealing with and it is five of swords underneath or oh, you're not happy dealing with this situation. you either not happy on Wednesday, on Wednesday, um, Taurus, to deal with, with this Aries, Sagittarius of Le or Leo or to deal with people of, uh, from, uh, of, of any kind of authority, government institution, going sitting in a line uh, 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 forms for registration because this is structure as well. If you're starting something new, you know, you want to now put a structure in it and you're not happy about it. This is really very, very unpleasant moment for you. Look at this. Five of Swords, there's no winning position. Neither this one nor another one. It's a both of these energies are kind of, um, how can I put it? Um, mean, unpleasant. This, this is kind of that, that little mean things from all sides there. You don't want dealings with this person, with this authority, with this institution, whatever on Wednesday come in front of you. Oh, that's very unpleasant. And one on top is not a joke at all. And you feel it. You feel it. Perhaps it holds much more power than you do. What is happening in this place? Um, I'll carry on now. Now, Thursday we do have Eight of Pentacles and the Queen of Cups. I love this Thursday energy. You know, out of this Wednesday, I don't know, it, uh, my impression that what you do on Wednesday, you won't be solving. It will stay, this energy will stay, maybe the kind of, um, maybe conflicting energy, maybe something will stay for later to, to, um, to deal with, to still deal with this energy on Wednesday. Anyway, anyway, but Thursday is coming, very emotionally stable moment for you, emotionally stable moment. Now, this person could be your mother, it could be uh, your good friend, somebody who is there to help you. This person will help you. Spices or, or Cancer or a Scorpio person or just somebody who cares about you, somebody from your family, somebody from your house, from your home somebody's helping you even if it's somebody at work could be maybe your boss but somebody who's really who cares about you who wants to help you because you're showing such a skill in here you're showing hard work you're showing skill and this person is seeing you and he wants to help you and uh, uh, loves you like a mother wanna wanna help you because you're working hard Taurus. Now, Friday brought us to this Knight of Swords and Eight of Swords. Now, let me tell you about Eight of Swords. I don't know how many times already told about that you find yourself in a situation that is that you feel you it's oppressive. It's uh, um, uh, too tight around you, like you put your, your your feet in the mud and you can't move, and you feel like it's you got there. No, nobody pushed pushed you there. You got to, you you uh, get yourself into the into that kind of situation on your own free will. You know, you decided your decisions, everything on your own doing brought you just there. And you, at this point on Friday, when this Eight of Swords comes out like this, it tells me you realize it. It's your realization. Goodness, what am I doing here? Why did I stuck like this? But I love this Knight of Swords with it. 
You know, these two energies on Friday combine. They tell me, now on Friday, you do understand why you got yourself so stuck in one place, in a mud. Now you understand, and this is energy in action. This is movement, intellectual, communication, conversation, uh, exchange of ideas, or mostly your logic, your ideas, your mind. That tells you, yeah, you cut these things, you uh, um, move uh, um, a little bit left and the right, and you out. It gives you solution. On Friday, is kind of solution is coming for you. How did you put yourself in this stucky, sticky situation? It was also this oppressive energy there, and I and I feel this this uh, emperor also kind of a bit oppressive uh, um, with this five of swords. Kind of you dealing with something. Um, kind of you've got this obstruction. Was it people that obstructing your ideas? Because your ideas is so optimistic and very new. Maybe people obstructing, or you have institutions, uh, formalities that you're facing now that you feel obstructive, or something that you've been doing till now is is. Uh, uh, sticking there around you to be done, to be completed, to be finished, you know, before you move on. That kind of, I feel this obstructive energy that you're dealing all the time. And it's not big, you know, my feeling is that nothing of this, none of this needed for you to, to drop this load, needed to get out of unpleasant situation, neither this one dealing with authorities. It's not big, it's only this full energy that I feel all the time, being impatient, wanting it now, not wanting it to deal with that. That, I think, is a moment, you know, where everything seems a bit bigger. Because I, I think this cards, this energy wouldn't even appear otherwise if it's not that you don't want them. You don't want to deal with it. It's just that you have to. This is when you have to this deal with the buggy situation and you don't have... Oh, you're going to be mean there. Solution you will find. You know, bit by bit, bit by bit, you push yourself. To, you know, when you're pushing yourself to do small things, but you push yourself to the limit, just forcing yourself to deal with it. That kind of thing. You would love to do something completely different something that you're enjoying and you're loving, you have to deal with this first. This is uh, this kind of um, nuisance that you're dealing with before you, you move uh, forward. That you have to complete something, something that is important for you as a, as a person as well. You know, your decision were here involved. You know, something perhaps that wasn't the right decision earlier that brought you in a kind of maybe toughy position. And it's, you know, your decision. You brought yourself in. You're dealing with that also. As I said, something small. But obstructive. Some nuisance. Some, oh. I love Saturday and Sunday, though. <laughs> you know? It's... It's temperance, a page of swords, a nine of cups, and a strength card. I see you. I see you very stable here. You're gonna receive some news, some ideas, or news. It will come your way. Some kind of com com conversation, communication. It seems to me that you will be one who's gonna come with ideas, who's gonna present these ideas, and uh, um, you um, you have to still balance you still have to keep it on the ground you still you can't move full power forward this page of swords idea it's it's going well with this full energy you know page of swords who is swinging his swords he would got ideas news stuff but you know look at the temperance tells you oh wait the angel is there and i love this temperance card in here this temperance card on on a saturday it's such a stabilizing force in all this energy it's kind of you know what i feel it's kind of popping energy it's popping it's popping it's something uh, that 
and you have to deal with and it's popping and you just understand oh that I have to do as well oh I have to sit in a queue in municipality you know that kind of things temperance I'm telling you blessing in disguise coming here on a Saturday for you to understand that you have to blend it that new ideas that come you have to blend with this that you have to finish with your personal energy personal emotional state everything you blending you're moving forward see bridge the situation out a situation with that what you feel if you feel so optimistic you still have to bridge this obligation out in the outer world that you still have to do whatever you have to do you have to do you bridge that balance it balance it and you're gonna move forward the strength card here as well i'm loving it this energy over the weekends you know it seems that you it it will be all over the whole week and then weekend will tell you okay fine you pull all your strength temperance and strength hard work uh, 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 um, uh, courage to pull yourself together and understand your wish will come true you know it no need to rush what needs to be done it needs to be done kind of certainty kind of certainty comes on a, on a, over the weekend for you like that what you understand no need to rush it is coming <laughs> it is coming i love this weekend this energy is just beautifully after all this as i said pop-up situations <laughs> I hope that you're going to enjoy your victories.